This is a time lapse of two brains over six years. This one is normal, and this one has Alzheimer's, a disease that kills more than 120,000 people in the US annually, and that researchers have spent more than three decades trying to cure. And it's at the center of controversy around a new drug called Agihelm. There are a few drugs that are on the market now. They work okay to alleviate some of the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but, but nothing that really sort of slows down the course of this, of this disease. Biogen's Agihelm aims to change that. It might be the first drug to slow the progression from here to here, and could delay the loss of memory and other functions. But flawed trials from the drug maker have led many medical experts to question the science and some insurance companies to limit coverage. Here's how Agihelm functions in the brain and why some doctors won't prescribe it yet. Agihelm is meant to treat the root cause of Alzheimer's, which is a series of chemical changes in the brain. The disease attacks tiny cells called neurons, which control movement, senses, memory, and thinking. When someone has Alzheimer's, communication between neurons is interrupted and the cells die. Researchers aren't sure exactly why this happens, but they found two biomarkers in the brain that might be factors, called amyloid plaques and tau tangles. Everybody needs to have the amyloid precursor protein and the tau protein. We need them for normal brain function. Dr. Paul Asen has been a paid consultant for Biogen and has worked on a range of treatments for Alzheimer's, including Agihelm. In Alzheimer's disease, these proteins are changed. They are modified in a way that causes them to aggregate or clump together. Plaques are made up of clumps of beta amyloid, which is a sticky protein that accumulates throughout the brain. Scientists think that these clusters may block communication between cells. Tau tangles build up inside of neurons and block pathways in the cell for nutrients and other essentials. Plaques and tangles, as they accumulate in the brain, kill off brain cells. And once brain cells are dead, uh, they're not coming back to life. The goal of aducanumab, the generic name for Agihelm, is to target the amyloid plaques and hopefully slow down the death of neurons. It does this using antibodies, proteins in the blood that are programmed to attack viruses, bacteria, and other foreign substances. Aducanumab is a monoclonal antibody, which means it was designed in a lab to mimic real ones made by the immune system. Aducanumab in particular was modeled on an antibody that occurred in people who seem to be resistant to Alzheimer's disease. When injected, the antibodies travel to the brain through the bloodstream and latch onto plaques. They then attract natural scavenging cells, called microglia, that bind to the antibody proteins and chew up the clumps. The microglia seem to digest the material of the plaques and then bring them into the bloodstream, and the amyloid is cleared through the blood vessels. In theory, once the plaques are removed, accumulation will slow down or stop, and brain cells won't die as quickly. This could delay loss of memory and function for people who are at an early stage in the disease and could potentially add years to their lives. If Agihelm works, it could be a crucial step toward preventing Alzheimer's. But some doctors and researchers aren't convinced it's effective. Since 2019, really, the, the drug has been super controversial. What happened was Biogen was running these two big phase three trials and then shut them down prematurely because it thought that they weren't going to work. Joseph Walker covers biotechnology and drug companies and has led reporting on Agihelm's progress. They combined all the data to do a pooled analysis. And then when they looked at them separately, they saw that the results were different. They also saw that the additional data sort of changed the picture a bit. Both trials showed the drug was effective at reducing the amount of plaque in the brain but only one trial showed an effect on patients' decline, slowing symptoms from getting worse by about 22%. Based on these results, the FDA granted Agihelm accelerated approval, meaning the drug was not fully proven to work, but showed promising enough results that it can be prescribed to patients while another study is done. The agency said they approved the drug because the need for treatments is urgent, but some doctors aren't sure there is enough evidence of the drug's benefits or safety. You just generally don't want to you know, give people things that don't work or you think are like unlikely to. And even more so when a drug has side effects, when it's removing amyloid from the brain, that can cause swelling and even these small brain uh, bleeds. There's another reason the data has been brought into question. The, the idea that simply removing amyloid from the brain will slow Alzheimer's disease is still very much contested. And so to approve a drug on that basis for some people is a little premature. Another issue is how much Agihelm costs. 
Biogen said the initial price for treatments over the course of a year would be about $56,000 for the average person. The sticker shock caused some insurers to limit coverage, and the price of Agihelm was cut in half in December 2021. The fact that so many of the health insurers and, and doctors have sort of balked at paying for the drug or prescribing it, I think, you know, has thrown sort of some uncertainty into the picture here. Other companies also currently have amyloid targeting treatments in testing phases. And some researchers hope that Agihelm's approval is just the first step in finding a treatment to prevent Alzheimer's. It's actually been the most encouraging results we've seen over the 30 years that we've been working on slowing this disease. So I would say that on balance, even with the controversy, the work on aducanumab has stimulated and excited the field. Agihelm is currently approved for early stage patients. Biogen will do another trial to confirm it works, but it will likely take years to get final results, 